Welcome to DrivenMavens.com. My name is Arvin, and we're going to talk about how to draw what you see and not what you know. Now, what does that mean? Well, uh, when you start to, when you embark on, on deciding to sketch a, a car, a sports car or a vehicle, classic car, you know, whatever it is that you're looking at, uh, sometimes you get really caught up into uh, wanting to understand all the details, or sometimes it's just plain intimidating to understand all the details. Um, so drawing what you see and not what you know is really a different approach. It actually tries to remove that fear factor in drawing um, the vehicle and understanding it for what it is. Now, when you're looking at a reference photograph, reference photographs are a terrific way to kind of um, educate yourself and have you get used to the details of the object that you are drawing. So when you're looking at a classic car or you're looking at a sports car or whatever it is that you're interested in, um, you start to look at the reflective surfaces, you start to look at the shadows, you start to look at the um, uh, the small little details that make up uh, the vehicle. And what I'm trying to get people to understand is that try to remove or, or, or do away with all that and start looking at the picture for what it is which means just starting to look at the shapes that are surrounding the picture the shapes that are surrounding the vehicle and if you start to look, look at them as just a combination of shapes value range color then it can be a whole lot easier for you to tackle that problem. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna start off here. Um, I've got a uh, a picture. It's the uh, Maserati, and I'm just going to start off. This is um, uh, using Photoshop, and I just start to use a gradient tool. And what I do is that I just actually go in and start to use the color picker on the actual uh, image. This is just so that we can save some time and so I can actually get this thing done in 10 minutes and trying to, to guess the color. So what happens is that I'm just going to start to draw the, um, just quickly block in uh, the foreground. You've got um, uh, the Maserati that's just coming up, that's just coming around the turn. And I'm just going to start to look at the relationship of where that road is, which is just a quick block in relationship to the rest of the picture. And then I'm going to start to take the um, uh, details of the side of the road where you've got the um, uh, the markings, the you know, the reddish color. And what I'm doing basically right now is I'm just looking at the shape. I'm not even looking at it in terms of um, a road. All I'm looking at it is, all I'm, all I'm trying to understand is just the color and the value that I'm seeing in front of me. That's it. Nothing else. I'm not even interested in 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 the um, the aspect that you know we're looking at at a car at all. And I'll show you how I go through that. So here it is. I'm just blocking in uh, you know the shape, shapes that I see. And the reason why you want to do this thing in, in just 10 minutes is because you don't want to labor over it, or you don't want your uh, anxiety to start to pick up that you're actually drawing this as a vehicle. Your objective is to get as much information from the picture as quickly as you can. So here I am now just starting to block in the red colors. I just went ahead and used the color picker and I'm just blocking in the red that I see from the vehicle. And I'm basically drawing that silhouette of the shape. Now I'm just going to draw lightly draw the car above it, the Maserati above it. And what I'm looking at is basically, um, you know, just estimating the distance that I see between the uh, object in the foreground and the object and the vehicle in the background. That's all I'm trying to do. And I'm just really uh, eyeballing it. And this does not have to be totally correct. I'm not here trying to make this a, a an exact replica of the photo. I am just experimenting. That's it. So I haven't put any perspective lines or I haven't done any construction lines like I typically do with my larger paintings. This is just practice and this is to help you uh, get used to the fact or get used to the uh, um, just get used to the process of just evaluating the picture for what it is. 
So right here, all I'm doing, I'm not even drawing ellipsis. I'm just blocking it in with um, a darker value. That's all I'm seeing right now, just a darker value. So I'm just kind of indicating where those wheels are going to be. Just start drawing a little bit more of the hood. And I'm just looking at the shapes that come across through there. I'm color picking the the um, uh, the value or the hue for the uh, headlamps and I'm just you know just dabbing my paintbrush and you know you, you press a little bit you put a little bit more pressure you get um, a little bit of lighter color you don't put as much pressure you don't increase the intensity of that color particular color and I'm going up to the top just looking at the oval shape getting the tire And I start to just block in, you know, what I see as the um, gray shadow, which is about a 70% gray. And just kind of indicate, lightly indicate the tire on the other side. And, you know, right away, right now, you know, my intent is not to erase anything. My intent is just to go through whatever I've got right now on paper or right on this digital canvas and just keep moving I mean already I can see that you know there's uh, the my interpretation of uh, the wheel spacing at the top is is not accurate but it doesn't matter like I said this is all about um, uh, getting some practice in now you can see that you know you have a very high contrast between the red and the white which is where you're going to have your um, which is where the uh, the number of the vehicle goes, number of the car goes, and then we have a little bit of a bulge for where the uh, uh, steering wheel is going to be, and I'm just indicating a little white, you know, blob basically for the uh, the driver. And I'm, all I'm doing is just using um, one um, one paintbrush. I don't care about getting all the fancy textures or any of that. None of that stuff matters to me at this point. Okay, and then we go in, and I start to um, pick up the uh, the colors for the uh, um, for the reflection of the sky under the hood, and then just start to color a, a darker value at the bottom as I see it. So I, you know, so you can see even from here that things are start to starting to form, and it's crude. It's very crude, <laughs> but it's you know it's a really fun exercise. I mean, it's the best way to 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 get um, some fast results or to f finish quite a bit of paintings in a small amount of time. And the other thing that you want to do when you do start looking at the uh, pictures, it's necessary for you to actually uh, blur the image or squint your eyes in a way that the uh, whole image uh, is um, really blurry so you don't you can't really make out the details. Because what you're trying to do basically is just to kind of evaluate the entire picture to see where the value range is and where your darks and your lights are and not really worry about any of the detail. And that's basically what you are trying to replicate when you're going through this process. Where are the lights and the darks? Um, where are the value changes? And um, what are the different colors that you're looking at? So I'm seeing, you know, a little bit of a um, a lavenderish, a lavenderish <laughs> uh, hue. That's going at the top. And uh, again, just drawing the shape of the, uh, the driver in the back. Man, this is pretty crude stuff. I mean, it's like a, it's like a blob. <laughs> and then I just start adding in the, the, a little bit of the white. And indicate where the wheel, the spokes are. I start to use a uh, color pick, uh, picker right here, 
and then I just want to go with a darker value so I can start to um, paint in the uh, um, the skid marks on the road on the track that is okay so once again just lightly indicate it I'm starting to darken just a uh, just slightly darken the areas in the front didn't do much there but so what happens is that as you start to go through this I mean you can look at these pictures side by side you can kinda of see that relationship you can kinda of look at both of these images and when you squint your eyes uh, you can see the similarities and, you know obviously I used a lot of the color pick I got the color picker but what I'm basically trying to replicate is just, um, or just trying to understand is, you know, how much of the page is being taken up by by the car, with and uh, with respect or relationship to the other elements in the uh, in the picture. You know, once again, this is just, it's a great way to practice getting your mind used to. Um, details but thinking of the details in a, in a totally different fashion not the typical way for sure okay see I'm just drawing a little bit of the uh, the bulge at the rear start to add a little bit indicate a little bit of the spokes you know this one is um, this one is uh, quite a bit off from what you're seeing in the picture, but it's all right. Just keep going. Just keep moving. You know, as you do more of these things, uh, you end up training your mind to readily see uh, these details very quickly. And that process starts to get faster and faster for you. And then what happens in the end is that as you go through this exercise and you start to combine this technique with some of the traditional techniques and really understanding what proportion is, what the perspective is, um, it completely removes or helps to remove that fear factor of trying to execute it and execute it correctly every time. There you go, just indicating a little bit of the, the air vents in the front and um, that's about it and uh, here's a quick touch up I just go in and increase the contrast and uh, there you have it so I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and uh, you found some value out of this it's not the uh, uh, prettiest uh, painting but I think it gets uh, it does a pretty good job of getting the idea across remember um, Start painting and drawing what you see and not what you know. We'll see you here next time on DrivenMavens.com.